Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. I want to give a big shout out first to all my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel financially. I am one of the few people out here that are is a professional who's actually just sharing my opinion on a very respectable and professional way about all things swing dancing. I've been doing it for so many years and I appreciate some of you guys who've been with me from the very beginning. Uh, I appreciate it. It makes it easy and it makes it fun for me to get up at four o'clock in the morning sometimes, often when I make these videos, and uh, spend time doing this because I know a lot of you all share some of the same opinions and uh, you appreciate my perspective and professionalism in doing so. So thank you, Patreon supporters. Also, if you guys want some free lessons, check out my free lessons. I put a lot of stuff together to inspire you guys uh, with my swing dancing uh, classes and just some articles I put together to kind of help you guys develop uh, as a beginner dancer and really even as an intermediate and advanced dancer. I've got some really good things in there to inspire you. So check that out when you get a chance. Also, my membership, guys, Street Smart Swing membership. I finally put together uh, a way for me to share all of my content in a very concise and practical way for you guys to access. So check out that Street Smart Swing membership. You will get new stuff from me every single week. I'm excited to be sharing the things that I'm working on uh, to hopefully inspire you. You'll also get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is a course I've been working on for so long to show someone how to go from the very beginning to the very end in the objective side of Lindy Hop so that you can become a master of this dance and really start having fun, all right? So guys, I'm excited. Today, we're gonna take a look at a video uh, by, let's see, Sophia Swing Dance Festival 2022. This looks to be a Jack and Jill format. I love it. This is an advanced level, which says a lot. Most of these dancers will be technically proficient. No, nobody's killing each other. So it's gonna be really tough to judge the subjective things that are pretty much left on the table that I can judge. This is gonna be down to what I like, how it amplifies the music. Does it look controlled? Is, does it have creativity? Does it have great timing? Does it, is it the full package? <sighs> so I'm gonna be looking at it and uh, I'm excited. I just, I don't know who's gonna be in it. I love every time when someone posts a new video, it just gets me excited and giddy to give you guys my big fat bloated opinion. So let's take a look at this one and uh, I'll give you my thoughts afterward. Ready for this? Look at that professionalism. Sophia swing dance, I love it. Great. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six couples. This seems to be the ideal number. Let's see here. All right, everybody has a sense of musicality with uh, this band. Everyone's making those hits and stopping in the right spots. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I see a lot of people that have a lot of personality, and uh, they say they can't seem to ignore any of those special hits in the music, which is a good sign. Uh, we're going to be entertained. Here we go. <laughs> I like the subtlety of that break. Yes, I like that. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. style with this couple so far. I'm really digging the style. Differentiation is what I love the most. And now, uh, looking at this couple so far, they were the most distinct. Yes. Powerful swing outs. <laughs> oh, watch that arm. Woo. Yeah, I like when the follower does the heads like that. Yes. That's good.
Yes. <laughs> I love this follower. She has so much personality. Yes. Woo! That was great. That throw. She almost went flying in the air. Great. I love when people catch the five position on the swing out on the one. You guys know what I mean by that. It's like that that position. I love that. Woo! Watch out, audience members. <laughs> that was good. Violent swing outs. No joke. Yeah, I love that. That's a good sequence. Yes! That was good. Sometimes, sometimes people do some things that could be elaborated on more to really show that it was intentional. And I think they had a little sequence there that was really special. But I don't know if it was intentional or not. It could have been like a mess up, but I really liked where they were going. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yes. Break. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Those clarinet players killing it. Hey! Woo, that was good. Everybody was energetic. Oh, that was so fun. So fun to watch, guys. Wait, let's talk about it. That was good. That was really fun and entertaining. Uh, everybody was. Everybody. There was no weak couple in this one. This uh, was really special. The energy level was there. And I think a lot of that had to contribute to uh, the band. That band was perfect. I love that, you know, I'm a little bit more partial now since I'm learning the clarinet. It's always back there looking at me like, let me love you, Jamin. Let's practice. <laughs> so, yeah, anytime I hear a really good clarinet player, I'm just enamored and just perplexed at, at the same time. It's so cool. It's so inspirational. And I think this band really helped uh, get the crowd involved. Yeah, the crowd was really involved in this one. And of course... When the crowd is excited, the dancers are more focused and excited, and, and I love that. So, man, hands off to everybody who performed in this one. Let me talk about some of the highlights that I felt uh, in this one. There were, there were a couple of moments that really stood out to me. I think the first one was here. There was a move. Uh, the couple, 
he had like uh he was really tall i'm just going to start it right here this little sequence started off like a uh charleston sequence and then i think the follower did some different footwork than the leader and it just looked great like here they go backwards and then she's going in the opposite direction he does a texas tommy and then they kind of get back that was really cool and what i think was really neat about that is i don't know if it was intentional or not i don't know if the follower was intentionally going in the opposite direction because you could totally lead that that's totally leadable and so that I, I think if it was just a, a little bit more clarity with that movement, it would have looked more intentional and I would have bought it more uh, that that it was something that was led instead of something that was kind of a mess up. But that moment was special. That was, I think, my my favorite creative moment out of everybody. Let me talk about my favorite partnership, my favorite, my favorite partnership. Let me talk about that, because a lot of times in these competitions, we forget about the other partner. We, we pick out our favorite dancer. If you're a follower, you're looking at swivels. If you're a leader, you're looking at the cool move that, that the leader did. But a lot of times we forget about judging the couple as a collective. And I think that's super important. Um, and, in, and in this case, I don't know if this couple was partners or not because their, their set looked a little choreographed. And I think that's cool that they pulled that off in a Jack and Jill. It was the first couple, as you see when they come out here. She was my overall favorite follower. There was just so much sass to her her movement and attitude and and fun. And the leaders right there with her. They look like one body sharing energy at different points. I talk a lot about this in my classes. And even that little break there, how they just kind of separate and they play a little bit. And of course, they perfectly went back into that, which kind of begs the question if it was, you know, choreographed or not. But either way. Uh, yeah, they were, they were my favorite couple to watch in terms of tone and, um, the, the connection that they had together that felt as if they were just simply one body. That's cool when that works. Now, let me tell you guys, my, my favorite couple was really artistic and I really hope to see more, particularly from this leader. This was a really special uh, series of movements this leader had a hat on like a little tan hat and the follower had like a white shirt let they come out here and there's just so much style look at the upright nature of the leader the followers movement her elasticity is tight enough to match the leader he's doing the head bucks there i love that their style look at the the level changes the patience the the followers playing along with the silliness and there was a moment here where they go back into these swing outs. There's really rapid, a lot of, yeah, the footwork, just all of that for me was just really, really special. And even their second set, I think their second set had like a little moment here that just really stood out to me. Like when they come out again here, you can see it. They are kind of being silly and they go back into some closed position and he's like moving his feet really quickly like that kind of, whoa and then they go back oh that was good like that kind of stuff oh and then they'll jump out like that oh so good so 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 good that i love when people are individuals when they do lindy hop it's so hard it's so scary to be an individual it really is in today's age. When everybody is super hypersensitive, everything is super woke, and everybody, they wanna be on eggshells and not offend anybody. Uniqueness and distinction rules. And I think more people need to be bold about just who they are in the dance, and I love seeing that. That couple, I, it's particularly the leader. I've never, I don't know if I've seen him before, but he's the one that stood out to, the most to me in this competition. No one came close in terms of uniqueness. And that makes me excited. I get giddy seeing people like that because you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know if they're going to conform eventually to what everybody wants you to do, or they're simply going to just continue to shape into who they really are in a better way. And that, that for me is really hard to see. It's, it's really like a movie that, you know, if it's a trilogy that was planned and the third movie never comes out, you never know what could have been. And I always feel that's the way it is with a lot of dancers who are unique and fresh because you just don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to continue or not? So that's my two cents on that. So guys, what did you think? 
I I thought this was really energetic. I it, it made me really excited. I want to get up and start dancing. It's kind of late for me right now, which is not good. Might wake my kids up. But man, that was really cool. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Which couple was your favorite? Let me know why. What did you like about them? I think that's important. You got to tell people what you like about their dancing because people are pretty, pretty sensitive about their dancing. People are trying to find who they are, their uniqueness, and sometimes they're vacillating between this, this frustrating situation of not knowing what's necessary and what's, what's preferential in terms of what they want to do. And a lot of times they just need encouragement, guys. So let people know what you think. Let them know in the comment section. I was feeling this move. It was awesome. Now, if you don't like certain things, it's okay to not have to say it, okay? You guys aren't just like talking in a, in a void. You're actually talking to people. And this is my house, so we have to have manners in my house. So make sure you pay attention to my community standards on the bottom. They're not complicated, right? I believe in free speech. I'm open. But, you know, you got to be civil and intelligent and articulate in that commentary. So I appreciate that, guys. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if you guys want to join my Street Smart Swing community, now is the time to do it. Get down on the ground floor. I got a lot of content I'm putting up there. I had a couple of people just join today, so thank you, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of live chats, a lot of Q&As, posting classes every single week. You guys get access to my fundamental perspective. I teach you the whys behind everything. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I'm excited to share that with you. So if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Hope you have a great day. Take care.